as part of the sustainability strategies of the project, promoting and supporting networking and linkages with external actors was part and parcel of the process. We have linked these groups to other organizations, both private and government. And beyond us linking them, even themselves, because of the capacity building, the empowerment we have given them, they have been able to look for partners where we were not able. The groups are using their acquired lobby and advocacy skills to benefit from the government's development funds, amongst other services. In Mpiji district, for example, the farmers group applied for community-driven development funds from the local government and received 1.6 million shillings to buy quality tree seedlings to plant this coming season. <laughs> Because at first they were not participating in growing trees in forest and also selling out the materials which are got from the forest. But now these women have managed even to add value on some of the materials which are found in the forest. And they have even begun making like baskets, eh, mats, though they still have a problem of market. But as town council and my office at large, we are trying eh, to help them. Tufuna, every into every from town council, we have to remember, we no more feel by now. We meet here, Jimmy Young. We sent a zoo kwe kula kula nya. We ne sa we zasi didi. Kwa saba, we have to everyone to be afraid to ali yo. Mbazi Farmers Association has also benefited from these linkages. The project links them with Rotary Club, Tree Talk, and VI Agroforestry, among other organizations. The linkages and networking strategy has also enabled communities to get land in the forest reserves to replant the deforested areas. Two groups have finalized and formalized collaborative forestry management. Under this deal, they have been allocated up to 82 acres of degraded areas for replanting on a 35-year lease basis. Each woman and man participating in this program owns an average of 200 trees. Participatory approaches to forest management is already enshrined within the law. But an approach like this, adaptive collaborative management, which is the participatory approach, but with ingredients of uh, empowering people, you know, to ask f and make decisions, to ask for their rights and make decisions, is what I think should be emphasized. 